so first you need to find where your hive is being installed in your machine and where the spark is being installed in your machine so for that you need to use ps hyphen ef get up hive and then you need to get the hive configuration path cd and you can see the hive site dot xml and just use pwd to get the path for it because you need to link this hive site dot xml with spark then you need to find where is spark kind of path is being installed so where is the spark i have already linked the hive site dot xml from hive kind of folder to my Spark kind of folder by using ln space hyphen s is just nothing but a soft link for linking the files directly. So after linking, uh, now the Spark uh, PySpark is being configured with uh, the Hive uh, site.xml, so it can read all the Hive tables that you have created using Hive shell or Hue, etc. So you can use uh, PySpark Spy Spark shell or you can create a normal .py program and you can use, execute by using spark hyphen submit command to submit the job and it automatically reprocess and uh, shows the table. So there are two ways of doing it. So first way is using PySpark. If you entered, you have to type the command uh, from PySpark dot SQL import high context. High context is nothing but an instance of a Spark SQL execution engine that integrates with an Hive um, Hive configuration folder that is nothing but a Hive site dot XML. It reads from the Spark class path. So after uh, importing into uh, into it, um, you need to use a Spark context instance and you need to pass and create an object hive hyphen context object and in this object it has inherited methods like table create data set table names where you can see from this documentation link so i'm using this one it's nothing but i'm creating a data frame After that, the action phase in, in the action phase, I'm using dot show to show the values of the table. So this is one way of executing uh, the hive table dot py contains the above lines which I explained. So in this UI path, you can see what all. So it is being executed. SQL driver is being added on what are stages, etc., and what the environment is being used. Those things you can uh, find it out here. Uh, it just created a local HTFS directory and a local directory and it just reads the contents from the hive and it shows here. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel and thanks again.